Do your flower beds look like this? Overgrown, messy, just plain tired looking? In a few easy steps, with a few inexpensive items from your local big box store and garden center, you can turn them into this. All you need is this no-dig edging, available in a few different shapes and colors. These large stakes worked really well to hold the edging down. You will also need many, many bags of any fast-setting concrete. I can't remember how many bags we actually bought, but every time I went back to Lowe's for more pavers, I probably bought at least 10 bags of concrete. These were our favorite pavers from Lowe's. I think they were only $1.79 each, so pretty economical for this project. The first step is to lay out the edging in the shape you want your border to be. It doesn't have to be exact as you will shape it a bit more with the papers as you lay them out. You're mainly trying to get the general shape of your border. Next, lay the papers against the inside edge of the border. Laying them on the grass doesn't matter as you will be covering the grass with the concrete and leveling it. This will give you the general idea of what the finished border will look like. Once you like the way it looks, move the pavers off to the side and start laying down the concrete. I didn't do a great job of documenting the process here, but basically we figured out if you cut the bottom of the bag of concrete out and drag it along the edging, you end up with the proper amount laid out. The amount you lay down also depends on how wide you want to go. We probably went a little wider than we had to. Once the concrete is spread out and leveled, replace the pavers on top of the concrete along the edging pressing each paper down slightly as you lay them. You can use a rubber mallet, but it's not really necessary. Once all the pavers are laid back in place, sprinkle some concrete in between and behind them to get a better set when you wet it down. Or you can take any excess concrete from behind the pavers, pushing it forward to fill in between them. I would add much more than I did here. I also brushed off all the excess concrete dust so the natural beauty of the pavers shows through, but that's just my OCD coming out. At this point, all that's left to do is give the concrete a thorough misting, making sure to get in between each paper. Once the concrete sets, just add mulch from your local garden center if you like that look and your project is complete. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you can tackle this project yourself. Thanks for watching.